Um, you're for I want to I want to um, when I see you I want to pigeonhole you as Canadian, but there's nothing Canadian about you, right? I was just on the phone with a Canadian before we started talking together, and I have a lot of Canadian associates. So I know I maybe it's because I am like the height of uh, Brent Fakowski, and I've got similar hair color to Pat Vellner, and you've just got that kind of like ingrained in your brain, so you think that I'm a hybrid. Right. You're like the handsome – you would be – if you and Vel, you know how like twins, there's always like the, there's the pretty one and the not pretty one. And even the not pretty one could still be pretty, but because you have the pretty one, you're fucked because everything's relative. Like the movie Twins with uh, what, uh, Danny DeVito and Arnold? Yeah, you're, you're, you're like a Vellner's twin, but, you're, but you got all the good stuff. Uh, don't tell him that. I hope he doesn't listen to this. You got, you got the th- – oh, it's okay. He's got a very thick skin. He knows. He's married. He has a kid. Like – um. Uh, his life, he has Justin Medeiros to worry about. His life is already fucked. Us, us saying something about his looks cannot touch him. Um, but you have the better hair than him and the better body than him. And, and you're probably even a little taller than him. Yeah. Six, and ta- foot, six foot two is not an advantage. I think you want to be Justin's size. Uh, maybe, maybe for that sport. But in life, taller is better. Like, bigger is better. I think, though, there's a certain tipping point. I think six four is the last stage you can get to until it reaches that awkward height where all of a sudden now you're, you're in a category above and beyond what is considered attractive, appealing and, you know, successful unless you're a basketball player. Right. Have you seen those people when they're so tall, they look like the great blue heron walking in weeds and like they lift, they have to like their leg goes up instead of like forward first. It's like, like they're on stilts kind of, it's a trip. I live in California and I would say like the majority of retired Olympic and na- like national level swimmers live within like, you know, 60 minutes of my house. And a lot of them are athletes and they go to the training centers I go to. So I'm like constantly surrounded by people that made me feel self-conscious about who I am. Gigantic swimmers. And they all look really awkward. I mean, as long as they take their sweatshirt off, that's when they start to look awkward. So that's, you have a good point. <laughs> 